All right, it's party time and we're making guacamole. Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and today I am making a party size guacamole. This is just like what you have for dip if you were having like friends and family over for like, I don't know, Super Bowl. But um, <laughs> we are going to show, it's, it's so quick. It is so quick, and I'm gonna tell you how to get it cheap too if you wanna wait till the end. But uh, I'm let me show you the ingredients, and we'll talk about how to make it. Okay, y'all, so I got all my ingredients over here. I got five avocados, one jalapeno, one white onion, one lime, and three Roma tomatoes. And of course, I have a big bowl here I'm gonna use, my cutting board, a couple of knives, a spoon, and my potato masher. So let's get to chopping some vegetables. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and cut up our avocados, which again, you're just gonna slice it right around the middle and then take your spoon and scoop out the flesh after you remove the seed, which I just do it the traditional way. There's a lot of different videos out there that'll tell you how to go ahead and split your avocado and get the uh, meat of it out and you know you can find that anywhere but I think by now we all know how to do that right <laughs> so, so I'm not gonna explain it to you anyway um, at the end of this video I do explain to you where to find the best price on avocados and I just want to tell you just wait for that because they can be pretty pricey especially if you're using five so just something to be aware of get the best price that you can so this is probably the longest process scooping out the avocados but it really just takes a minute or two and it's the most important thing of course, I get a phone call and I gotta check it. But anyway, so then we're gonna go ahead and dice up our other veggies. Now, these Roma tomatoes, by the way, um, I say three, but really what you want is like more like two and a half. So I usually try to get two good sized ones and then one smaller Roma tomato. And that way I have just the perfect amount. And of course, you're gonna dice them as small as you want. I, I personally prefer them very, very small. My husband prefers it a little more chunky. Um, I usually try to go in the middle if I'm going to a group event. <laughs> But uh, of course you're gonna do that to preference, but uh, the smaller you make it, I personally find it just easier for dipping on your chips and things like that. And of course I got another call. This is, you know, mom life, right? So anyway, so it just takes me a minute to dice all of this up and uh, just a couple of knives and a cutting board. It's, it's not only a quick recipe, but it also doesn't even make that much mess, especially considering how impressive it is when you go to a party. So here's the onion, and I said one onion, but again, I'm probably gonna use about three quarters of the onion. It just depends on the size of it. Um, if you got a smaller one, you'd use the whole one. But this was kind of a large one, so I'm using three quarters of it. Again, I really do try to dice up the onions very small because onions can be a divisive thing in a dip, <laughs> but, but, um, but I dice them really small and I've never had any complaints about it. People just really enjoy a good guacamole, so, uh, so it works out really well and the jalapeno. Now here's the deal with the jalapeno. Once you just seed it and put it in, it's really gonna depend on how much heat you prefer. Now for a party one, I usually do half of a large guaca, uh, half of a large jalapeno, um, but if you like it spicy, you could definitely do a whole jalapeno or even one and a half. So, but for a party one, I try to keep it mild because kids sometimes eat it. You know, it just depends on who's there and how you wanna, how you wanna do it. But again, in the recipe I have one half to one, you decide based on how much you enjoy. So again, cilantro is another one. Frankly, you could leave the cilantro out. I do not prefer cilantro, but you know, dice it small. So here's our lime juice and you're just gonna squeeze it. I like to run my thumbs around the inside just to make sure I get every drop of lime juice that there is. And the lime juice is so important because it's what keeps it from turning gray as long as possible. You know, when you do this, and here we are, we're gonna mash it. Just takes a moment to mash. I just want you to be aware, it's gonna last in your fridge probably about 24 hours total that you can eat it but it's not gonna be pretty probably more than six hours. <laughs> so something to be aware of. You'll have to stir it. It's still gonna be edible, but it just it's, it's just the nature of it. It's gonna start to turn um, after a little bit. So I'm just mashing all of the ingredients together. Just takes a moment, and then we're gonna add our salt. I like to do that last, and it's about one and a half teaspoons. Again, to taste. Everything, when you're cooking, you, making anything, you gotta make sure you taste it. So uh, here we go. We're just about finished here. Look at that. Yummy, delicious cilantro. You can't beat it. Look at that scoop. Oh, so good. Okay, y'all. 
Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Tell me that you don't think your party guests are going to love it. I'm not even kidding you. I need a drink of water. Hold on. Oh my word. I am taking this over to Brianna and Trey's house because where else do I go? And um, we're going to enjoy this with our little family fiesta that we're having and it's going to be a great time. So, um, so yeah, I definitely think you guys could do this for maybe your event and everybody's going to love it. It's going to be great. So let me tell you about the cost. Okay. Because avocados can be super expensive so obviously i think the first place you want to look is your discount grocery store if you have one secondly if you have one maybe an aldi but let me give you my best advice okay if you want to make this just go to walmart i know i know i don't like to push a particular store i'm not sponsored by them or anything and i don't plan to ever be but <clears throat> The thing about avocados is you have to get them at that peak of ripeness. And a lot of times at Aldi, they're usually hard. It's just how it is. If you catch them, great, but usually you just can't find, because you need five, you usually can't find five perfectly ripe ones at a time. But if you go to Walmart, first of all, they're a decent price. They're usually pretty reasonable. I paid 88 cents each for mine. And they usually have like a big pile. <laughs> you can go through the pile and find the ripeness that you want because sometimes maybe you want to use it in a couple of days. So you would get it, you know, a little bit firmer. But if you are going to use it immediately, you need it at that peak of ripeness. So whatever it is for you, I'm just recommending that you go there because I think that you can get the best price there. Not to mention your other produce that you get there is going to be pretty well priced too. So all of this together was about $6, um, which, you know, for a nice fresh party size dip, I feel like that's fairly reasonable. It's the only thing I'm bringing to the party. And so, hey, that's, well, and the chips. <laughs> So, so that's that. So, all right. Well, that's it for today. I am going to um, put this up. I did put the lime juice in it just to make sure it doesn't brown, but you do want to kind of use it immediately so that it doesn't brown or get discolored or anything. So it's really good. So I'm going to head out and go to my party. I hope this is helpful to you. You all have a great day. Thanks for joining me. 